was the best feeling I've ever felt in my life. Um, the experience was great, you know, rubbing shoulders with the best athletes in the world. Usain Bolt, Gatling, Michael Phelps, Serena Williams, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, name them. Like, they were all all over the place and it was good, you know, it was good to go out and, you know, show the world what, um, what I can do. But, you know, it was just unfortunate that I did not do as well as I wanted to do. But, you know, I'll learn from it and I'll come back stronger. It was good. It was like everything was free, free, name it. Name what you want to eat. We had it there, you know, free drinks, free cake, muffins, free McDonald's. Everything was free. You got a free Samsung Edge as well. Olympic edition, it has the Olympic rings at the back of it. Yeah, that's, that's the sickest thing. We got free beats, you know, Nigerian customized beats. And it was good. It was, it, was, it was a very, very good experience. It's like a city. It has like, it has like a dining hall. It has like a clinic. It has like a casual dining where you could have like barbecues and all that. It has like, like a basketball court. It has everything you need. Yeah, all the athletes stay there. If you want to walk to, to go and see your athlete idol, you can go there. But most of the time, once you see someone, you might not see that person again. So, because it's really big. So you just, you know, get a picture of that person and just move on. We didn't actually pay our way to Brazil. You know, after all that situation, you know, went online and everyone caught up on it, you know, they, they paid for the flights, you know, we got to Brazil and that, that was sorted, like that, that issue was sorted like quick and yeah, they did, they did what they were meant to do. Like I don't stay in Nigeria, I stay in London, so yeah, like everything was sorted out, you know, our daily pre was paid, you know, but you know, like nothing, everything is not rosy. I'm not going to sit down here and say, yeah, everything is perfectly fine. Nah, everything is not rosy, but to some extent they did, uh, they did what they could do. With me, like I always prepare like individually. Like I don't, I don't, I don't wait for, for the government or any other person to to jump on board. You know, I do my thing. Like I'm lucky, I'm privileged that I have parents who can support my dream, and who have been supporting my dream. You know, so I, I do my own my own stuff. You know, I have my own team. I have my own physio, my own nutritionist, my own psychologist, my coach. You know, so I have my own team. You know, so I prepare to the best of my ability. I thought I could have gone out there and done done well but you know but it didn't it didn't work out according to plan but I'll come back stronger next year. There's world championships in London next year. So <clears throat> looking forward to that. Also Union Bank came on board um towards the Olympics time. So you know I have to always say thank you to them as well. You know hopefully more people will come on board and support the gym. I don't think it's gotten to that to that level yet, you know. Sometimes it's a bit frustrating, but sometimes you have to just bite your teeth and you know and just keep going. But you know, like if everything is fine, like we will not even be talking about if I was thinking of running for Nigeria or regretting for running for Nigeria. Why do we have to t always talk about that? You know, why can't everything be fine and let everyone just be happy? But like you never know, you never know. Like I hope it doesn't get to that stage that I start, you know, seeking for like nationalization to other countries but hopefully we don't know we don't know but hopefully not the biggest thing that you can win will be the olympics yeah that's that's for any sport like the pinnacle is the olympic games apart from football maybe the world cup or basketball maybe the nba, NBA tennis, maybe the Grand Slam or whatever, but some of these, you know, at least take it very, very seriously because it's every four years and it's, it's like the best of the best athletes in the world come there and just put in their best story. From sponsors, you know, and also like Diamond League, you know, I think you get a certain amount of money, appearance fee, you know, some people pay you to come and run. You know, depends on how the caliber of athlete you are, you know. Like for me, leaving the Olympics, I was top 13 in the world, you know. And next year, your times as well. But majorly from sponsors. You know, if you have 
four, five, six sponsors who are like, who have invested their money in you. You can make money from that as well, you know, but majorly it's from the sponsors and like Adidas, Nike, Puma, New Balance, you know, all those people come, in, come on board as well. But majorly it's from sponsors and the caliber of athlete that you are, you know, and races. Prize money, you have different races that have different prize money. Like we could go over to Diamond League, I think is about 10 grand or so. So <clears throat> if you do all the Diamond Leagues and you win everything, there's a jackpot at the end. I think the jackpot is like 60K or so. But that's it from us. I'm currently off season now for about five to six weeks. Uh, I'll just chill with my family, my friends, you know, just. Just chill, just take my mind off track and field for a bit. Then come October, I start training again for next year. And next year will be, um, there will be a few races. I'm not doing the indoor season. I'll just do, do a few European meeting races, maybe that, some Diamond League races. And we'll get ready for the World Champs. That's the whole goal next year, World Champs. Then I think, I don't know if the sports festival is still happening in November, but we'll see like if any state wants me to run for them. We'll see if I can come on board. But the whole goal for next year is the World Champs and I'm going to do everything to do, do well there. Well, I used to run in high school, Atlantic Upper Kaipe, as I said before. Um, and I was just fast, you know. Interhouse ball was like the thing that everyone used to look, look up to, you know. Like, I'm sure you guys here, I'm sure you probably ran in high school as well at one point in time. If I go outside now and ask them, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, I used to run in high school. Everyone was fast at one point in time. But I just felt I was just talented. You know, I went, then I went to school in, <clears throat> I think I made a Nigerian team in 2007 to the World, in, World Secondary School Championships in France. And I won. And from there, I started school in Ireland. And then I started winning everything. I was winning the Irish schools. Like, these are things that people train for. And in 2010, I qualified for the World Juniors without training. I ran 21.50 in 200. The qualifying time was 21.56. Then I realized, oh, okay, like, this is something that you can do. And, like, someone spoke to me and said, you know you could do this, like, as a job. I was like, at the time, I was like, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Then I was getting better and better. Then I moved to England to get a new coach and to continue school as well. And from there, I've been improving every year. I've been improving, you know, and I find myself here now. <music> Running in front of maybe 60,000 people at the Olympic Games, you know, walking in that, in that stadium knowing I deserve to be here, you know, that was the best feeling ever. You know, I would never, like, nothing else will, will replace that. looks up to you saying, boy, everybody wants to be the best. You know, you're saying, boy, it's the person I look up to. You know, like, he's chilled, he's laid back, you know, just doesn't take it too serious. You know, but that's, 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 that is my idol. That is the person that I want to be. Like, that's, he runs fast. Like, what else do you want? You know, he's a match in fan as well. Every day when I wake up, my goal is to just be the best I can be and get medals. That's the whole goal. You know, when you go to championships, like when you experience championships like this, and you know, and you see people win medals and make finals, you want to do it as well. So that is my goal, you know, just to make finals and make medals, you know, run fast, you know, but also stick to my process and just keep working out and believing in my ability. But, and hopefully that will come in the next, in, in the long run. <laughs>